Hi, before diving into the advanced topics of Docker, let us quickly review some of the basics. Docker has the client server architecture in which client sends the command to the Docker host, which runs Docker daemon. Both client and the Docker host can be on the same machine or client can communicate with any other Docker host running anywhere as long as it can reach and access the Docker daemon. As shown on the screen, Docker client sends the command to the Docker daemon to create a container. If the image is available locally for that container, then the container would be created. If not, then the respective image would be fetched from the Docker registry and then container would be created. The Docker client and the Docker daemon communicates over REST APIs, even on the same system as well. A Docker client can be configured to attach to different Docker daemons running on different systems. A tool which helps us to manage Docker daemon running on different systems from our local workstation is Docker machine. With Docker machine, we can completely deploy and configure a Docker daemon running on the remote machine. We can even deploy a VM on the cloud and then manage it from our local workstation using Docker machine. We would be using Docker machine throughout the course. With the Docker container command, we can manage containers with Docker. We can create, start, run or do any other operation with containers using that command. With Docker image command, we can manage images. We can build, pull, push and do other operations with images using that command. In Docker file, we can put down our steps by which you want to create a resulting image. Like here, we are creating an Nginx image from the Debian Jesse image from run, env, expose, cmd or the different instructions of Docker file which we use to create an image. A Docker registry is a place where we can store images and share the images from there. We can set up a Docker registry in-house as well. There are some third-party solutions also available for registry like Quay.io from CoreOS, Google Container Registry, Artifactory and so on. With Docker volumes, we can share the external data with the containers. We can mount the host directories inside the container and with the volume plugins, we can have the storage from the different vendors mounted inside the container. Docker follows container network model for container networking. Docker has several default built-in driver types like bridge, none, host, overlay, mac vlan. Out of which bridge, none and host has the local scope. Docker also has a plugin architecture for networking by which we can extend the networking with some third party drivers. With Docker Compose, we can create a multi-container application with just one command. Like here, we are creating a WordPress application using the DB and the WordPress container, which is getting created from MySQL and WordPress image respectively. We are defining some environment variables for both database and the WordPress container. We are also mounting an external volume with the DB container. Docker Compose would also create a custom network by default by which these containers would be attached to so that they can communicate with each other. 